let's chat while I make these beautiful floral nails right after the opener. Sit tight. <music> Hello glam bugs, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gigi and we're going to do a super easy, quick set today. Um, I actually had planned something else, but uh, my grandson was over and uh, now I can't find my magnets. So I couldn't do the cat eye thing I was going to do today. A little bummed about it, but that's okay. We came up with a cute idea on the fly and uh, made it happen. So we painted all the nails that beautiful lilac-y color, and now I'm just coming in with a very, very, very thin coat of transfer foil gel. And now we've got all these real pretty, shiny, almost chromey, different colored pieces that I have used for other sets and, or have been bent and banged around and needed to get used up and I thought hmm this is going to be a fun way to use some of this up I love doing that sort of patchworky look with the foils and so that's my jumping off point with this set um I couldn't really my creativity is still not a hundred percent back guys summer is going to be coming to a close soon but we've probably still got about a month here of close to or over 100 degree temperatures so um once we break from that my joy level is going to shoot through the roof and um and then my creativity will start to spark back and actually it is coming back a little bit uh that's why i was able to come up with this set i also have a new thing a new set of things that I'll show you guys in a second. And that also helped to inform my decision about what I wanted to do. So I'm just putting on a base coat now because if I need to clean anything off, if I decide what I decided doesn't work and I need to wipe it off, I don't want to wipe away any of my transfer gel or transfer foil. <laughs> um this is actually the second idea I had. I don't even remember anymore what the first one was because I moved on in my brain. But I have those uh, B-U-T or by uti i I'm not sure, uh, stamping plates that we've not used a lot. And I decided that these sort of lacy florals would look real pretty on top of that crazy mishmash of colors that we put down with the foil. And... As soon as I did it, I loved it. I did him and ha a little bit about color choices. And this is where I really start messing up. And as you can see, I, I am just really, I'm not in frame. So I'm real sorry. <laughs> You'll see that last stamp right at the end. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just screw it up and that's that's okay so what I what I got was these little sets of flowers and if you watch any of my short content you'll have seen them recently in a video like maybe a week or, or so ago uh, if not go check out my shorts there's some cuties uh, cute I do a lot of like accent nails or single nails so go in and check some of that out if you're looking for ideas um, but I did use some of the flowers from this set in, in a nail. So if you're interested in what that is, I can actually link it. So I'll link it up here, but there's a lot of cool shorts. I even, um, do some tarot card pulls. So if you like that, go check those out as well. Uh, so we're just doing a little flower cascade on this one, swooshing down. And I'm going to do this on both of the nails. They're just... And they're going to be the same, just I flipped the colors a little bit from one to the other. And I made a mistake. I had intended for them to sort of meet in the middle, but I made them accidentally going the same way. <laughs> I don't even know what, where my head was at with that. Um, I cracked myself up. That's all I can say. So, um, 
there's that. I, you know, you, you got to love your mistakes, right? You can't only love the things you do right because you learn from your mistakes. So you got to love that too. In the flowers, there's a little recessed area. You can ignore it. You, this part is not mandatory, but I do like to put a little bead in the center because I just think it looks stupid freaking adorable. So there you go. I just like it. And that's the whole point of nail art is for you to like it. So, um, I'm as you can imagine, I'm in some nail art groups. And people are very judgmental about nails. But the thing is, is if you like it, you're the one wearing it. Don't listen to those voices. It doesn't matter. Love your nails no matter what. Right? Now, here's a thing. When you're doing your top coat, which is what we're doing now, um... Make sure if you're using those little um, half pearls or even full round pearls and the little micro beads, make sure you come in and just give them a little tiny drop of top coat on top because that's going to seal them onto your nail a little better. It, nothing's foolproof, but it will help. Um, but also it'll help keep you, especially with the pearls, from scratching the surface and losing the shine. So... And sometimes the color, too. So a little top coat goes, goes a long way for that. And here, here's that nail you didn't get to see me do completely at all. And there's the nail that you saw me do half of. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm such a pro. Guys, speaking of that, the channel has been growing really fast. You can help us out by sharing this video, clicking subscribe, hitting that like button, leaving a comment. All of those amazing things, and thank you so much. If you're still here, give me a flower emoji to let me know you watched all the way through and know that you are my favorite and an absolute rock star. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to see you next time. Bye-bye.